Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my channel, and today we'll be learning how to make a character follow the mouse pointer in Scratch. So it's a very simple program, and you can impress anyone with it if you're just a beginner. And it's also useful for many other big projects. So yeah, let's begin. This is very simple. And remember, whenever you do a project, the first thing you need is a sprite, which means the main character. Without it, you you won't be able to make a project. So you must use a proper character, or you can use this default one. It comes when you click on the create option in the Scratch homepage, or you can just choose a sprite from here. This option, choose a sprite. They have a lot of sprites, and you also have these categories. But we're not here to talk about them. We need this character to follow the mouse pointer. And remember, you can always use any other character. So first, I'll go to events and drag this when green flag click block. So the function of this block is basically to start the program. Now look, if you just if you don't give this give this block at the beginning of a program, if and if you click this flag, it won't start. But and this flag is for starting the program, so you must must be very sure that you're adding this block, or else the program won't start if you click on this. You have to click on the whole code, like this. But we don't want that, so yeah, we'll use this. That's why I drag the red green flag clicked block. Then we'll go to control, and there is a repeat ten times block. We don't need that. You can change that number. We need a forever for now. And then we'll go to motion and glide one seconds to mouse pointer. So this is so this is a very simple project, and you can change this time from one seconds to two, three, four, anything. But I'm gonna keep it one for now, and let's begin the program. And we can also do, do a point to its mouse pointer, which means that the character will rotate towards the mouse pointer, like this. You can turn it around like this. And if we combine those two together, it will be a very, very funny project. Let's see. Yeah, so you're also spinning and going. Okay, that's that's not bad. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can always follow these instructions and make a good program. You can combine what I teach and create a big program. But you can also create a small program if you want to show it to your students or anyone, anyone you want, anyone you want in the world. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.